We're in the parking lot here getting ready to head out for the day, but we're doing a little bit of quick wrenching here this morning to install our Trail Tech GPSs. If you haven't seen these before or don't know what it is, they link up with the 7S display on the players, the buddy tracking feature. So we'll put this on our skidoos so that when we're riding with the guys with players, they can see us and we can see them. So uh, really looking forward to having this. Look, now I can keep tabs on you. I don't have to worry hey, about, about you being upside down on a creek hole. who had to help who get unstuck the other day? So what we've got here is the trail tech mounted up to this piece that goes right there that we could swap between sleds. Took it up, you can see how we've got it mounted on here and then the wiring we just spliced into the pigtail for the skidoo accessory wire. Basically, we just kind of take the grates off, take the dash off and then there's a plug right here. We'll take that, that's the accessory and just plug it into that baby. Take our trail tech plugger in and bam just this piece you mount it on there and you could swap it between all your sleds now maybe you don't need to switch between multiple sleds but you could swap it from year to year if you're upgrading we'll see how it works today oh yeah and as you guys could tell by my rosy cheeks we got a little frost nip on there it's supposed to warm up here in the next couple days and start snowing again too one thing that's kind of dumb is the trail tech doesn't come with a wall charger so we're gonna fire it up here with the sled now it has a battery, but the sled won't really charge it. So this is our first fire up of it right now. And there we are. Let's see what we do. Buddies, join group. Look at that. We can see all our buddies here now. <laughs> Go get lunch. We got 16% braking left on the sled. I cut this back to the map. Did it kick me out of the group? So that's part of the problem with me not having this charged is it shuts off every time I shut my sled off. We got 242 clicks on the sled. Just put that out there, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, yeah, I'm friggin' freezing. But we can see Jerry there. So the plan for today is just go up here, kind of see if we can find some untracked snow. As you can see, there's definitely been some people up here. And, uh, yeah, just do some some fun riding. Maybe get a little, little rowdy on the 146 links here. Nothing too crazy though. It's too cold to be hurting yourself up here. If something was to happen. I also just realized I forgot to put a belt in this from the last time I blew one. <laughs> so hopefully we don't blow a belt today. I thought I'd be able to climb up there on this. It's a solid no. as impressive as I thought it'd be on the 146. Oh, might be having a little bit of trouble getting the snow wake up this hill. Yeah, I think it all. Do you need help? If I can get it turned around, no. But I'm just working on it. Here we go. He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> we got the wheelie boys. A fellow 146. Kind of losing our light here. 
just expecting it to be sunny all day. I'll take the bag off for a bit. Box, I guess. Seen some comments asking where I get this. I've, I've said it before, but it says Simco Machine or JDS Customs. The nice thing about that mounting setup is you don't have to undo the link things at the end of the day, which always ice up and break. You just pull the Milwaukee pack out tab, slides right off like nothing. You ready for shoot redemption? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Deep in the bottom. <laughs> Switch for a minute. Hey, we're on a 146 free ride now. I was ripping around the links through here. I didn't have uh, the GoPro on, but now we'll take this and see the difference. I think this track's a little loose, but this thing feels way more nimble. I don't know what it is, but. Today I definitely like this better. Just feels way lighter, more nimble. What do you think? It feels smoother. Smoother? Uh, like in what sense? Suspension? Just like the way it runs. Like the motor? Yeah. With the handling. Now you can definitely feel the weight. <laughs> okay, we're back on Fat Boy Slim here. Go the same hill. Ah! I'd say the free red definitely climbs better than this too. Are you kidding? Can you roll it? On a hill. Okay. I'm tired now. I'm gonna try and do like a little re entry here. Now there's rock there. Clutches are warm, that's for sure. We're over revving a bit though, so we're gonna drop our clickers down from three to two. We're getting lots of backfiring. 
Don't need to blow some reeds. Jerry, what the heck are you doing stuck in the wide open field there? Downhill? Don't worry, the young bucks will come and get you. Got a little out of control. You having fun on the 154? Oh yeah. <laughs> I did a couple of hump overs. I thought I saw you rolling down the hill. I think I saw you stuck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm stuck. Trying to get Nick to do this shoot here. The one I was trying to get Doug to do. <laughs> Is he going for it? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm curious just to see how far this will run up it. Run. It's actually really hard right here. And then it gets soft? How's the hike? Warming me up, that's for sure. Not sure if Derek's going for it here. We're just having a look. Oh, getting hairy. That works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the turbo makes it look so easy, man. Yeah. Derek's first shoot. Oh, was... my legs are still shaking. Look at that rock. Dude, I was going up there, I was like this. <laughs> There's not much snow in there. Isn't when you do your first shoot, it's pretty exhilarating, eh? Yeah. Well, dude, the only thing that scared me was that one turnout. I was so close to the trees on the one side. I think there's room for one more sled up there. You gotta prove the 9R's got it. <laughs> I don't think he's in a very good spot no, there. Holy, he hit a big rock at the top here. Are you going to need a hand up there? No, just keep the camera rolling just in case he gets a little rowdy. <laughs> I'm good at that. Well, there it goes. Nope. It's still moving. <laughs> I don't know how it's hanging right there. Is that his windshield? Look at this. You could ride that. It's a flying saucer. <laughs> Is that a side no, panel? I didn't get my panel up. <laughs> Do you like shoots now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the first shoot I did too, and I'm like, ooh, maybe I do like shoots. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't get the bunch of snow in his uh, quick drive gear. <laughs> Missed his panel.
Yeah, that's a massive rock you ran over there. And then I looked right at it. Yeah. And I was like, oh god. <laughs> now what? I don't have the speed to like pull it back out of the water. Yeah. And I was like, oh god. Now what? I don't have the speed to like pull up over that rock when I spin out on it. And I didn't want to spin out on the actual rock. <laughs> we'll see how far the 146 can make it up. Just for shit. so steep i can't tell if it's a tree or rocks it's, it's or rock. both yeah. send her up send it, eh? <laughs> or down whatever yeah. <laughs> quick helmet warm up on the turbo vent here steamy Ooh. is it ever nice to put on a warm helmet on a cold day <laughs> feel like it heats up my whole body to give you reference it feels like i just took my helmet out of the dryer how much fuel did you have? You're probably a lot lower than me. Half a tank. Half a tank? You want some? No, I got three bars. Should be lots. Is that what we're doing? Is heading out? I don't know. You're the boss. <laughs> Sounds like Doug's ready to head out. Did you want to go back over this ridge here just to see if there's some good snow in there? Do another quick lap before we head out. <laughs> We'll do a little, little jaunt down through here and uh, I'll ride close to you. to drive down here because I'm pretty sure I can but the 146 kind of scares me <sighs> see but here I go dropping down anyway
make a loud bang must have blown a belt yep sure did how many K do you have good one. holy shit that's a really good one wow yeah this is this is pretty sad we have uh, four skidoos right here <laughs> and Nope. No spare belt. No spare belt. Dad, where's your spare belt? You're always prepared. I really don't know. I, I don't have a spare belt. I always have one. You probably never have one in that sled. Uh, there's a pretty good chance. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, you got a spare belt? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> for what price? I got a brand new one in the, that's the truck for you. <laughs> I think I could double it. <laughs> <laughs> Two for one? Oh, look at that, he does have one. His belt blew so hard, it blew the rubber straps right off the panel. And it totally screwed the, the metal guard too. So ripped it's, it right out. <laughs> ripped it right out, so it's in the tunnel bag. All right, what do we got for kilometers? We're still in breaking, so. 215 miles. 215 miles. So that's 346K, 199K. I think there's something going on with these sleds. They shouldn't be pulling belts this quick. Let's see if we're still in break in here. I think we might be out. We are done breaking. 280k. <laughs> See that there? I can smell my belt right now. You know, I don't want to just accuse the 146 of having uh, belt issues, but from talking to quite a few people now, everybody's blowing their belts on the 146s. That's a nice shot through there.
uh, yeah, like I was saying before, I don't remember if I finished what I was saying. I feel like the 146s do have an issue with the clutching or gearing. Something to do that's making the belt life really, really bad. You know, I know everybody's just going to say, oh, it's 146, and you just wheelie it everywhere, but I don't wheelie this sled any more than I wheelie my 154. And that, the belt life on that's fine, so. Probably that way, the way we came for the snow bike. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. shorter to go straight up and over this hill but with the snow bike we're gonna go the mellow way here uh might be easier to go down over there and try and grab those old tracks because they'll be really icy and lots of traction if you don't make it up that way you can at least side hill over and then keep going <laughs> it's not good. I know exactly where it is, I think. This is the part of the day where everything starts to go wrong. Derek forgot his bag in the back. It's only about three and a half, four K, but I didn't even realize he's not wearing his goggles. You may as well go get it. It's way at the back where we started. Flip it this way. Though. Well, what are you going to do? Leave it there? I don't know if we flip it this way. I don't want to go work. on my own. No, it's really bad. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. <sighs> Derek and I are headed way back to Zach Lewis belt because Derek took off his tunnel bag and forgot it there. I hope I make it on one bar of fuel. <laughs> I, only got, I only got one bar of fuel, so I'll wait here. You know where you're going? Yeah, I got a good idea. Just up and over that ridge and I drop off to the left. While we're waiting here, Guess we better have a snack, eh? Mm. I saw you sent Derek on his own. I just heard him come over the radio. Me tell. But at least he's on the radio, so I think he's good. Now he's good. I can see him. I didn't even fucking see it. It's a straight up wall. How did you see it? Dude, you shouldn't come panicking over the radio if you're not hurt. <sighs> he must have really hit this with some speed, eh? I was kind of panicking. Wow, look at the bend there. Panicking for what? It's dark. <laughs> yeah, you uh, bend your upper arm here. Your ski is mangled. Your ski rubber. Your ski rubber's... Still good. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in your glove box. Yeah. Maybe I'll go get your... Your bag and we'll just work out of here. Two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Fucking <laughs> holy shit. Hell yeah. yeah. I've been your car by null. Really? Yeah, one, two, three. Fuck oh, six, it was a six day. It still is, but <laughs> go get Derek's bag so he doesn't have to ride with that bunged up ski and A-arm. I'm guessing his bag is right where Zach's belt blew. Oh, i running out of fuel. <sighs> this is not good. I don't even see his bag. Oh, there it is. Try and hold to do my legs. This isn't the easiest riding. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna lose 
it. <sighs> It's like on top of my foot. Okay. So, won't run. What's it do? Just stalls up. Why is that so stiff? I don't know. Nothing we could deal with right now, so. Really? Yeah. You can ride it, lip it out? No, we can. You can ride it out. It's just gonna grind like that. <laughs> We're trying to put the curve back onto it here. So we're gonna warm it up and uh, bend it. I forgot my toolkit in the Polaris, so I don't have a toolkit to take the ski bolt off, which would fix most of the problems right now. That toolkit doesn't have anything. Yeah, you got a you got a 15 and a 14, but you don't have a 15 and a 16. So. I know. If only we had vice grips. We have tools up there with the Jerry's, but. That doesn't do us much good down here. At least it's a nice sunset. Feel pretty bad for Derek right here. If you hear that metal grinding, that's the clutch grinding on the bulkhead. And that means he definitely bent some stuff. I don't, I don't know why he was in such a rush. He was, he was riding through here with no goggles. He drove straight into the straight up wall, which is, that's the one I dropped off of earlier. So. Not too good, not too good at all. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. Well, if we get back to somebody else, my dad will have tools and we can put the ski rubber back in. Oh, jeez, oh. that's stressful. But if he wheelies and sets it down and that ski goes under, it's gonna rip that A-arm right off of there. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, so Derek's basically ripped his front end off and we need some tools to put his ski rubber back in so he can ride properly. We are all coming to look for you, okay? Hey, I can see them on the far end. That's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm looking right at you guys. I, I see you. So we're way back on that back ridge at, at that lake. He's slowly making his way here, and I'm gonna probably run out of gas by the time I get to that lake. I'm gonna have to start actually carrying my uh, toolkit every day and put it in my Milwaukee box on the back because, you know, it's been fine, but now it's not that fine. So, usually we're riding with guys, a bigger group of guys, and uh, I know somebody always has tools, so, like I kind of think about it in the morning. But uh, when we get separated like this, that's not so handy anymore. Oh, do, do, do. let's find some nice dry gloves here. One and two. I think we'll grab the headlight out of the bag to headlamp. Lots of people get scared when they're still up here at this time of day, but when you know where you are, especially, like there's nothing to be worried about. You found us. Yeah. Yeah, look at the right side of his sled. Getting the ski rubber back in here. Guys are getting fuel over there for me. <laughs> I don't know, that, that should be on. Yeah. On the road again. I feel like we were at this point like uh, an hour ago. That's weird. Is this full break? Oh yeah. Let there be light. One forty 
76 things, eh? I was thinking we were gonna have an early day on the mountain today, and I could get some work done tonight. It doesn't look that way. I think tomorrow might be a day off, so it means no video. We are back on the road. It should be smooth sailing from here, so long as nobody runs out of gas. Stopped here because I heard my phone ringing, but now we're running out of fuel. Come on. Kenny's calling us to make sure we're alive. I wasn't sure I'd even be able to load on the truck. Well, I think you want to get this strapped down first or whatever. Not supposed to look at that. That's a tomorrow problem. <laughs> 